Hello again, it's you, it's Club Hello Forum. My throat always goes dry before I do these things. I'm going to teach you how to do a toggle box. You know, when you click the top of the box and something minimizes, if you can hear any music in the background, that'd be because I'm listening to some to make it easier and not as boring. Anyway, sorry. We're going to basically turn this into a link that makes the pink box disappear. Right, let's have a look at the documentation. This is how you're going to do it. You see, you go to the documentation, right? You've got this, it's called Slide Toggle. I didn't realise I had slide toggle, I never knew that it was there, I just found out today before I did the tutorial. Anyway, you see you can click that, disappears, tells you how to do it, simple. Now, let's get it working. First of all, I've got jQuery in my, I've got it here, copy that, go into where I am working, copy it, it's there, copy it like I did before if you see my other tutorial, script src equals blah 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 type equals text JavaScript. Right. I've already got a, I believe, I've already, yeah, I've already got an A on there, I believe. Let's have a refresh. Oh, wow, this is this is good speed, isn't it? So, yeah, the link's already there. Now, I'm going to do the core. I go new text document, core.js again. Oh, drag it into PHP Designer. Really fast computer guy in here. Now, we need to put an ID on the this will be called the little toggle box top, so it'll be toggle box uh, hands uh, button, I don't know, and then just call it that, that's no relevance whatsoever, save it. But dollar sign brackets, thingies again, little speech marks, because it's an ID, we put in a hash, a pound sign, whatever it is, and then we do dot, click, and then when it's clicked, it does function, open brackets, curly racer, line break, line break. Now, what we want to do is we want to make this div, which is the pink box, we want it to be minimized and just hide. So now we just put an ID on this and we're going to say ID equals, let's call it toggle div. Let's copy that. Oops, save it. Put it in here. How we select it, we do that. Little brackets and the dollar sign, then the speech marks. ID toggle div. And then we do dot. Now I think if you can use so easy, this is what I'm doing. I haven't used this before, but I can easily work out. I just copy that, Control C, paste it. I don't like using the little double things, but I'll just get rid of that. You can do it slow and return false naturally. Save. I need to include the core. Type equals text JavaScript. Now let's see if everything's all working order. So it's got toggle box button. Oh no, it's not toggle, it's toggle box by an A. So it's toggle box by an A, like before. Document order module again, guys. American speaking again. Uh -huh. Right, then we've got the toggle div. That is going to disappear. Right. Let's go and have a look. Press F5. Oh, and uh, it appears to be working. You see? And that is simple. Look at all it is. All it is is that. That's toggle box button which is the ID here and then it's the A that's inside it on click of the A it goes to toggle div which is this and it toggles the slide of it and then we can put it fast save it oop nice and fast now whilst I'm here oop, whilst I'm here I'm gonna have a look at another thing you can do perhaps let's go for effects What can you do? Slide down, yeah, and all that. You've got that's what I'm using. But slide down, you could just uh, if you wanted to do two buttons, perhaps I'll show you how you can do it. We'll do. It won't be done like this though. It will be done like differently. That's done. This will be slide down. This is absolutely pointless to doing this, in my opinion. But I'm going to show you anyway. Right. We'll make this AID equals slide down. This is where it gets a little bit more advanced, I suppose. You've got the ID slide down, which is inside toggle button, yeah? You got me? Document order module people. And it will make the div slide down. Let's copy that. We'll now make it called slide up. And copy this. Wait, I should now remember it. Now we make copy the link. And what have we called it? We called it, this is getting more advanced, sorry about this. You copy that. And you put it in here. So now this is going to be box slide down please Dorothy and this one will be box slide up please mate right and now slide up let me put that to slide up so let's explain quickly the first bit of the JavaScript that bit refers to this link 
and that makes it slide down okay toggle div slide down as I've already explained then we've got the slide up which is refers to this which makes it slide up return false both times save it now let's see if we can get it to work box drop slide down please Dorothy we can't do that obviously because it's already slid down slide up slide down slide up slide down it is so blimmin simple I can't even believe how simple it is you know what I mean documentation on jQuery.com you can do anything from it it's got everything need any more tutorials let me know I'm Utes Club Hello Forum really enthusiastic toodle pip